Hello. Now, this is Antarctica. And you may have heard people talk about West Antarctica and East Antarctica. Well, isn't all of Antarctica south? It's not like, you know, if you go to Antarctica and you go west, you go around in circles. It's not like you ever go to a west coast. Or if you go east, you go that way. It's not like you ever head an east coast. What's West Antarctica and East Antarctica? What's that about? Well, you may remember from geography class, the prime meridian. It starts in Greenwich or um, England and goes all the way to the North Pole and down to the South Pole. That's it right there. And of course, there's also an international date line that comes in right here. Everything west of the prime meridian is the Western Hemisphere. Everything east of the prime meridian is the Eastern Hemisphere. So, West Antarctica is the part of Antarctica that's in the Western Hemisphere. If you go north from here, you go into the Pacific Ocean, you go up into the Americas, and everything on this side is in the Eastern Hemisphere, and that's East Antarctica. You go north from here, there's Africa, there's Asia, and Australia. So that is the distinction. Now, they're also very different geog geographically. West Antarctica is lower. The glaciers have a lot less ice, about 3 million cubic kilometers of frozen water in West Af Antarctica compared to East Antarctica, where there's about 11 million cubic kilometers. And that makes a big difference. Um, now, West Antarctica is currently the center of the most attention. And the reason why is it's lower and the glaciers and the ice sheets, in many cases, actually sit in ocean water, which means that warming ocean currents are speeding up the melting of the ice here. And if it does melt, it will probably raise ocean uh, water levels by about 15 meters, which is about, well, it's over 40 feet. It's about the same as what would happen if um, Greenland melted. Um, there's a little more ice here than Greenland, but because it's already sitting in the water, it's already displacing a fair amount of water. And it's just like, you know, if the ice cube in your drink melts, your drink doesn't overflow because it's already in the drink. Now, this is the most current worry. There's another worry here, by the way. Um, some of these ice sheets, since they are kind of sitting in water, there is a danger that they might just slide off into the ocean, which would create a tsunami in the Pacific Ocean, which would make the um, Christmas Day Indian Ocean tsunami seem like nothing. Because think about it, if I get into a swing pool, the water level doesn't change much. But if I jump in the swing pool, well, that's going to get some water splashing around. And maybe people sunbathing by the side of the pool will get wet. And if one of these things slides off, you're going to lose a lot of cities. A lot of people will die. You'll probably lose communities as far north as Alaska. Now, this is the more immediate concern. This is more long-term. And the reason why East Antarctica is, long -term, is um, more of a long-term concern is because that ice is out of the water. It is on land, which protects it from warming ocean currents. Um, in some places, it's so thick that you have a, an altitude factor where sitting on top of the ice, you're 10,000 feet up, and when you're higher up in the mountains, things stay frozen better. But if this melts, and if we keep spewing greenhouse gases, eventually it will, now we're talking a lot more sea level rise because, you know, you get maybe five meters or sorry, 15 meters from West Antarctica, 15 meters from Greenland melting. If this goes, we could be looking at almost 60 meters or almost 200 feet of ocean level rise. And at that point, you are losing entire Pacific Island nations. And it's not just small island nations with small populations which will be displaced. We're also talking like big countries, like Bangladesh, which has over 100 million people. That's literally 100 million people who will have to go find a new country. 
we have most of the major cities in China will be underwater and people will have to move elsewhere. That's New York City gone, Miami long gone, um, a good portion of the, ghost, uh, the Gulf Coast of the United States will be gone. The Central Valley of California will be gone. So if this melts, we're in real trouble. Now, fortunately, it's out of the water, it's higher up. We have more time. It's probably too late to prevent this from melting, but we might be able to prevent this from melting. And now you know, West Antarctica in the Western Hemisphere, East Antarctica in the Eastern Hemisphere, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.